Kwanzaa Gets an A, written by Stephen C. Thedford, illustrated by Lesquizzi Kern, read by Eshma Efejuku, shot and edited by Dante Quinn. Watoto, which means children, came to the library to hear a story of Kwanzaa that they had heard before. Waiting boys and girls talked on the floor. When the children saw the griot, which means storyteller, walk through the door, all the kids started to roar. The griot entered the children's reading area and looked around. He smiled at the children in their little town. The griot sat down dressed in an African gown. Do you want to hear how Kwanzaa got an A? asked the griot. Yes, screamed the Watoto. That's very good, said the griot, but not so loud. The children nodded in agreement. The grill laughed and walked around the children. When I raise my walking stick, please say, Ashe. Can we practice? Yes, replied the Watoto. The grill raised his walking stick. Ashe, said the Watoto. One more time, said the grill. The grill raised his walking stick. Ashe, said the Watoto. The grill begins to speak in a mysterious way. In 1965, there was a riot in Watts, a neighborhood in southern Los Angeles, on a hot summer day. African Americans in the community were disrespected in that fray. They wanted those who were hurting their lives to pay. Others turned to their faith, fell to their knees, and began to pray. The griot raised his walking stick, a shay. Dr. Milana Karenga, a teacher who wanted to restore the community destroyed by a racist horseplay, Return to Africa was his cry. He researched our history to reduce the disarray. Dr. Karenga believed the people needed to celebrate themselves the right way. The griot raised his walking stick, a shed. Dr. Karenga created a harvest festival similar to the Egyptian and Zulu, a cultural holiday. He named it Kwanzaa after the Swahili phrase, Matanda Ya Kwanzaa, a phrase we should repeat every day. It means first fruits of the harvest. It is a time to renew and remember so we won't stray. The griot raised his walking stick, a shed. The first Kwanzaa was held in 1966 in Los Angeles, California, a city near Santa Monica Bay. It started in a tiny apartment and celebrations were small back in the day. Yet Kwanzaa has come a long way and events are large today. The griot raised his walking stick, a shed. Portraits of great African Americans hung on walls, a sacred display. Artifacts from the motherland adorned the apartment to invite the ancestors to convey. Kente cloth and other African fabrics were everywhere on that day. The griot raised his walking stick, a shade. Dr. Karenga discussed the importance of the symbols of Kwanzaa during the entree. The Kanara, Makeka, and Mahundi were special and new, which made it more than some tired cliche. He challenged the people to a contest and rewarded the best at the bouquet. The griot raised his walking stick, a shade. The children's program during the first Kwanzaa celebrated African countries like Zimbabwe. Six Watoto hung the holiday letters around their necks as entertainment at the African Gourmet. Dr. Karenga added an extra A to Kwanzaa so the seventh child at the event could participate at that moment in the USA. The griot raised his walking stick, a shed. The griot gestured for the children to stand up, but stead. Children on the floor stood in the walkway. They put their fists into the air and pulled them down seven times halfway. On the last one, the Watoto and the griot said, Harambe, 